Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried saying that I wasn't right. If you're looking for a great place to buy your toys, Kokis has a great range of figures, including your favorite ones from Haya toys like Godzilla, King Ghidorah, the female Muto. Get 6% off in all your purchases with my discount code. Use Ruby Kokis to get all your favorite figures much cheaper than anywhere else with fast shipping. Link in the description down below. This also means you don't have to wait for those long releases from the US. You can get everything much faster and exactly the same time that Haya Toys releases their figures from their end. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description, apply the code to get everything much cheaper. It's highly recommended. Thank you for watching the video. Recently, we've seen a lot of in-hand images of the upcoming Evolve Godzilla from Monster Arts. Now the great news about this is it actually looks very decent. It didn't change much from what we saw in the promo images. Sure, that one was the better version, but this one does not look like a major, major downgrade compared to other figures that we've seen from the line. It looks very decent. The paint job looks great. Uh, the articulation looks okay. The dorsal plates are indeed translucent. Uh, they actually have two different styles. Um, with the light, it looks different. With the light behind the dorsal plates, it sort of lights up. I did mention that from all four figures, I always thought that Godzilla Evolve was the better one. Please go support the original source. You guys are seeing the credits on the screen right now. They're probably going to do a review on YouTube. Now, from what I gather, there's been a few people that have complained that the articulation on the neck is not the best and that it can't really look up that much. So that's to be determined. But look, this is a great direction. This is what a lot of us want for Monster Arts. We just want the figure to appear what it looks like in the promo images or at least a very decent paint job with great articulation the eyes look definitely okay no signs of derpiness no signs of messy teeth and by messy you know what i mean melted crazy looking teeth i mean teeth are very small given the situation how difficult it is to paint eyes teeth and the inside of the mouth I think this figure does appear to look very decent. Now, it's not me saying that I think Monster Arts is back. Like I said, I'm always going to admit where I'm wrong and right. And I think, honestly, this is a decent figure for anybody who is picking up the Monster Arts line. This is the type of quality we expect and hopefully they do carry that onto the rest of the figures. Now, another thing that I want to comment, there's a possibility that this could be the smallest legendary version. Now, I'm not sure if it's because it's sort of in a crouch position that you can't fully grasp the actual size. And I think a lot of people should do a better job just fully standing up the figures as best as possible to do a fair comparison. But based on the images, it appears like it is going to be on the smaller end. Um, I don't like that, but again, when you compare this to the Haya, the Haya is going to be absolutely massive. And only time will tell which figure is actually going to be the better one. Monster Arts for 130 plus shipping or Haya Toys for 51 plus shipping. Once we officially see what Haya Toys has to offer, we're going to have a better idea which of those two truly is the better version which one offers more articulation a decent paint job and other accessories right now it's looking great for monster arts and of course there's three other releases to come which i'm not particularly like surprised or amazed by their quality so far probably the worst one has to be scar and um uh, i don't know I don't like any of them, to be honest, except for Godzilla Evolve. Another thing, we still don't know how the mass production is going to be. We haven't seen enough reviews or photos to determine if there is any weird issues happening with articulation or issues on the paint job or any of that. Remember, his figure can vary from yours. And again, with Monster Arts, it's always a mystery box. You could have a decent figure, an amazing figure, or a terrible, terrible figure. 
Right now, Monster Arts is sort of in a position where they have to prove themselves to everybody that they can regain our trust, that they're willing to deliver top tier figures in terms of quality with paint job, articulation, and what they promote is what you actually get in the box. And again, for those who think I'm actually a hater for Monster Arts, you have to know the difference between hate and critical feedback for improvement and that's what I'm doing right now. If I was hating, trust me, I would take this video in a whole different direction and that's not what I promote in my channel. I like to keep the comment section in my channel very positive, very open-minded, where, you know, everybody is free to decide whether they want to pick this figure or not. At the end of the day, it's your money, 